Well, in a matter of hours, the Bahamas national culinary team will be in full swing in competition against their counterparts at the Taste of the Caribbean event, which is being held at the Hyatt Regency Hotel in Florida. Before the team left for competition, patrons and sponsors tried a number of their culinary delights, as Jiminita Swain tells us tonight. The best way to describe it would be a spread of culinary eats and drinks to ignite the palate. The Bahamas National Culinary Team recently hosted patrons to a culinary and mixology extravaganza at the SLS at Bahamar that proved quite tantalizing. The event was won where the Bahamas Hotel Training Association assisted the team with its travel expenses. It also was one way team members were allowed to interact with those in attendance. The food offerings were vast. Team captain is Chef Jamal Small, who will be attending his eighth competition. While he had oversight for most of the dishes of the night, this was his dish. I go across the grouper, uh, paired it with a bit of lost essence sauce, uh, a little fire roasted heirloom vegetables, a little broiled prawns, a little mango chutney just to kick it off. So we got a bunch of different Caribbean Bahamian flavors going on. So we gotta get some of the sauces. I I trying to get it on the board. So when you should be here. Of course, my sample plate was ready and it was a dish full of rich flavors. Next was the station of junior chef Hazen Roll and chef Astier Dean, which offered that down-home kind of feeling. But both also share their feelings on the competition. Example, we have a vitamol braised short ribs with uh, coconut grits and crispy okra. The first two years, um, it was a phenomenal experience. Um, the competition really opens up a lot of doors for you and it puts you in circles you need to be. Um, the competition is stiff. You need to be dedicated, you need to be disciplined. I'm excited for the whole opportunity. I'm ready to go into competition. I'm humbled. I'm just praying every day I pray about this and I'm just excited to go home back and retain my title. As if that down-home taste was not enough, there was more. Of course, conch factored into the menu. And a gombe smash scotch conch, and we have a goat pepper snapper ceviche with a little twist. It has guava in it. I prepared a pumpkin bisque with a coconut foam, which will be accompanied by a rum glazed plantain cup with a tropical fruit salsa. The dessert was a slice of heaven from Chef Salah Smith, but the favorites of the night included the chicken in the Bai creations, which was one of a boneless chicken wing with french fries and drinks incorporating soursop. A remix to one of our local drinks, which is a sky juice, but I call it a cloud nine. It's a gin-based cocktail with a soursop array and an infused coconut syrup. Now, the Days of the Caribbean competition is set for June 21st through 25th at the Hyatt Regency in Miami. And Team Bahamas is hoping that you can make the trip to cheer them on. Jiminita Swain, ZNS Network News.